Team Laika, we make do with what you have. This is the first video of the series of videos I'm making, which I call Study Hacks, in which I tell you how to hack your study time. Why am I making these videos? Because I know that a lot of you are eager to learn but don't know how to study. Bakit don't, bakit yung you don't know how to study? Because a lot of us are taught to study one way when we were young, and that is to listen to the teacher, remember what she says, and then hopefully review and pass the next exam. And that is yung loop natin ng paulit ulit. And when I was young, hanggang ng college ako, I have people coming up to me, coming up to us, my twin sister and I, asking me, paano kayo nakakapasa? Paano kayo nakakakuha ng scores higher than us when we don't see you studying at all? And for a long time, binababad ko yung idea rin sa utak ko. And watching all of my cl classmates, observing what they do, it kind of, ano yun, showed itong mga cracks or mga differences sa way namin in studying. And that is why I'm, I'm here to share some of the things that I learned from the entire process. So the goal here is for you guys to study smart and not study hard. Kasi there is a way for you to study easier, study better, and study more effectively in order for you to pass the test. So whether you're taking the civil service exam, LAE, PhilSat, NAPOLCOM, or kahit mga college entrance exam, or kahit na nag ka lang right now, this could be a good series for all of you guys. So today, we're going to talk about and tips ko in order for you to top the test. I get a lot of questions sa uh, Facebook page of people asking me, uh, ate or coach, gusto ko rin mag-top sa exam. Paano mo ginawa? Paano yung pwede kong gawin in order for me to top the test? And I always tell them, just do your best because that was what I did. Just uh, pray and surrender it to God. Read up. If you, you don't like reading, start reading. If you don't like math, start practicing in order for you to pass. But the thing is, most people would think na parang ang abstract ng idea, masyadong uh, intangible yung idea na yun. Kasi yung pag sinabi mo study, mag-aral ka, magbasa ka, parang walang masyadong realistic na goals. And that is exactly why I'm making this series. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about in this Saturday is... This is how to top the test. Number one, time management. Now, time management, hindi lang sa actual na exam, but time management when it comes to studying. Now, there is a technique which is called the Pomodoro Technique in which you can study for 20 to 25 minutes and then stop to rest and then go back to studying for 20 to 25 minutes again. And I actually recommend that method and that is exactly the reason why most of the videos sa Team Laika na page natin only last mga around 10 to 20 minutes. Kasi ang idea is this, even if napagod na kayo sa isang mong araw ng pagtatrabaho or pag-aaral, you can watch one video a day and understand that concept and apply that concept and learn it in just one day. So again, Pomodoro Technique, time, timing is very important. Hindi lang din time, timing. Ano ibig sabihin yung timing? There are day, times in the day na hindi masyadong maganda for you to study. In fact, the best time for you, ang peak time ng tao when it comes to learning new things or doing things is actually the first two hours of the, your waking time. Ano ibig sabihin nun? After yung magising, especially on a Saturday, it's best if you start your day with studying agad. Kasi mapapansin niyo pag towards the hapon, alam niyo mga around 3 to 4 p.m., Usually, ubus na tayo, ubus na energy natin, hindi na tayo masyadong makapag-aral, hindi na tayo makapag-focus, pagod na yung utak, pagod na yung katawan, and mahirap na mag-aral. Another tip would be this, if you have to take a nap before studying, do it. If you have to take a nap after studying, do it. Bakit? Sleep is very important kasi sleep will help you process all the information that you learned. Kaya if you notice or if you... If ever experienced na nag-aral kayo, maybe watch a uh, team like a video, and then after watching, parang pagod na pagod ka, parang gusto mong matulog. Most of us would take coffee, mag-energy drink, or uh, gagawin ng lahat para manatiling gising. But you can actually take a nap. Kasi yung nap na yon would help your brain turn that short-term memory, yung kakaaral nyo pa lang, into long-term memory. Ipaprocess niya yung information na yon para next time, mas madali nyo yun na matatandaan. So, Timing, timing, timing. Start early in the day, take rests, and then go and study again. Okay? If you have to maybe take a nap, pag study, and then take a nap again, and then study, go ahead. In our house, dito sa bahay namin, tatlo kaming mga anak, and magkakaiba kami ng 
techniques when it comes to studying. For example, ang si ate, yung twin sister ko, studies until late at night. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Hanggang madaling araw yan. Hindi yan natutulog. Okay? Pag uh, may mga kailangan siyang gawin, requirements sa school, ganyan-ganyan, nagpupuyat yan talaga hanggang madaling araw. Magkaiba kami. Kasi ako, I'm a day person. Siya night owl kasi siya ako. Uh, pang umaga ako. Uh, when I was studying in college, I remember after, right after class, nagmamadali ako umuwi kasi from Ortigas pa ang biyahe ko to Fairview. When I get to Fairview sa bahay, what I do is I look at my homework and then I look at the everything that I need to do. If kaya ng oras, what I'm going to do is sleep. Basically, kakain ako, matutulog na ako ng mga around 9 p.m. or even earlier, means 8 or 7 p.m. And then, magsiset ako ng alarm ko ng early, early, early in the morning, around 2 to 3 a.m. And then I wake up. When I wake up, ako lang mag sa sa bahay namin ng gising. And that is when I work on my papers. Kasi magkaiba kami. Ang uh, kapatid ko, pag nagsusulat siya ng paper, gusto niya may music, gusto niya maingay yung, yung bahay. Ako, gusto ko tahimik. I, I read with noise, but I write in silence. So, the only way for me to do that is for me to wake up early in the morning. And that's exactly what I do. And that is what I do straight hanggang it's time for me to leave for school. Our youngest sister is still different. Kasi gito ang technique niya. Siya yung Pomodoro Queen. Ano yung sabihin nun? Mag-aaral siya for 20 to 30 minutes. Pag inaantok siya, matutulog siya. Mag-aalarm siya. Okay? Ng 45, after 45 minutes, gigising siya ulit. Mag-aaral siya ulit. After nun, Matutulog siya ulit, gigising siya ulit. And that happens for it ulit throughout the night to the point na nagagalit minsan yung mga tita namin na parang nagigising na rin sila sa alarm niya dahil maingay yung alarm niya. Ilang beses sa isang gabi, hindi din sila makatulog ng mahaba. Kasi that is what works for her. So here's the question. That is what works for us. What works for you? The only way for you to find out kung ano yung best way for you to study is to actually try all of these options. So again, time, 20 to 25 minutes, and timing. Early in the day or right after you wake up, whether you magising kayo na madaling araw or gabi. And also, make sure that uh, you study when it's best for you. So again, that's just the first video. In order for you to top uh, a test, top the civil service exam, top whatever exam that you're taking right now, if, even if you're still in school. First letter, T. Time and timing. Okay? You have to choose and plan kung ano yung oras ninyo ng pag-aaral and choose kung ano yung best timing for you to learn. Okay? So again, consistency ang key. Time is not about how long you study. It's about how regularly you study. So it's better na instead of learning for 8 hours ng straight, hati-hatiin nyo yung 8 hours na yan within a week. Every day, dapat regular as much as possible. So that's it for now, guys. I'll see you on the next Saturday study video. And God bless you all. See you soon.